Well, this was doing the rounds because it was very, very local. <laughs> and that happened on Halloween, which didn't really help. Man 74 dies after being hit by bus as police urge social media restraints. Now, what happened? Well, basically, there was just a human head. There was just a human head lying on the street in Edinburgh. However, because it was Halloween, people thought it was fake. And some people were taking pictures of it and posting it online. And there are pictures out there that you can go out and see if you want, right? But loads of people were like, ah, it's obviously some prop. It's obviously some people playing a prank. And people were just walking past it. But no, it was a real human head. But the thing that was confusing me is I was like, where's the body? <laughs> like, if there's just a human head lying in the middle of the street, where's the body? But it turns out that some poor 74-year-old man was hit by a bus. Maybe his body got dragged away by the bus and the bus driver just never noticed or realised. Who knows? But, yeah, there was just a human head lying in the street in Edinburgh. And lots of people thought it was fake because it happened on Halloween. Or around Halloween, even. Uh, a man has died after being struck by a bus in Edinburgh, with police asking the public to stop sharing distressing photos and videos of the incident on social media. The 74-year-old was hit by a single decker in the city's busy Cowgate area on Saturday at about 19.25. A number of roads were closed and people in pubs were asked to leave the area. Footage and pictures which later circulated on social media suggested the man had suffered catastrophic injuries. His fucking head was off. Would you suggested his fucking head was off? Fucking hell. Uh, BBC Scotland news reporter James Delaney, who was near the scene on Saturday night, said an extensive police cordon was quickly set up. He said inside were two forensic tents, probably about 100 metres apart. Okay, oh, so the body. Hmm, the body got dragged. <laughs> yep, I, I think I was right. I think I was right then. Oh dear. So the bus hit him, the head came off, and then the body got dragged for like 100 metres. That's nice. Lovely. Uh, the Cowgate is usually jumping on a Saturday night, but the bars and pubs, and, uh, pubs, pubs inside the cordon had been closed. We saw about a dozen or so people in white forensic suits, and there was a few guys in suits too, who I assume were detectives. Dun, 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 dun. I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> That was awful. Officers also put up sheets on the South Bridge to screen off the view of the Cowgate below. Police Scotland said an investigation had begun and officers were keen to speak to anyone who was in the area at the time who had not yet been contacted. Chief Inspector Trisha Clark, the local area commander, added, We are aware of videos and images circulating on social media which are causing distress to the deceased's family and those viewing them inadvertently. We would ask members of the public not to share them out of respect for his family and to report them to the relevant relevant social media platform to prevent further circulation. There's a free speech thing in there, which I'm off oh, fact, we're at the end of the article, so I will discuss it. Uh, there has been a lot of speculation, and I would like to reassure the local community that this was an isolated incident, and there is no risk to the wider public. The police cordons in the area have now been lifted, and a bunch of flowers were placed on the scene on Sunday morning. Okay, so. Oh, the police are like... Trying to ban, like, people posting pictures of the head, because there is pictures of the head and all that floating about out there online. No, it's not against free speech, because it's a request. It's a request, and one that I do kind of agree with. Right, I, I do agree with that request. I think, out of decency, those things shouldn't be posted. Do I think that it should be made illegal and you should face criminal prosecution for posting those things? No, absolutely not. I think, however, as an act of decency, people shouldn't be posting that. Purely because... What if that was your grandfather? What if that was your grandfather and then there's pictures of his severed head just all over the internet? You're just scrolling down Twitter one day and, you know, boom, there you are. It's your grandfather's severed head. Right. That would be extremely distressing. That would be very, very horrible to see a family member that you love so much like that. Right. So that, I think, out of decency, people shouldn't post those things. Do I think it should be illegal? Should, do I think you should be prosecuted for it? Do I think you should be arrested? No, I don't believe that in any way at all. But I think, you know, a, a little bit of decorum, you know, a little bit of empathy and understanding for your community and your fellow man. I think that's something that should be encouraged and rewarded when it is shown. I think that is the way to do things instead of enforcing, you know, a better society through laws. We should do it through social codes instead. But still... Hell yeah, night out. 